Hey, what's up, guys? Um, quick video on um, what I was talking about earlier in one of my games. Um, this is code Resident Evil Code Veronica X. I'm trying to get where I'm in a picture, man. You know, I'm sure you guys want to see me, right? But anyway, uh, Code Veronica X. Uh, things remember, there's quite a few versions of this game, but in this case, um, you know, we're only really concerned with the PlayStation 2 version and the GameCube. The other uh, uh, PlayStation 1? No, not 1, I'm sorry. Dreamcast. There's the Dreamcast version. And I think that's it. Yeah. But in this case, um, we're only concerned with the PlayStation 2 and GameCube. The huge difference between the two, the two versions. Um, first is, I, have, I actually own both versions anyway right now, so... Anyway, the PlayStation 2 version is very, very common, very, very cheap. It's like five bucks used. Uh, new, 20, maybe. Um, the GameCube version for Code Veronica X is very, very rare, very hard to find. New, you're looking at, man, 60, 70 bucks, maybe. Used, average price is 35 to 40 bucks. So uh, there's a very, very big difference between these two games. And as you can see, this ad is for the uh, GameCube version. And uh, you can see the actual the vid, the video. The photo has the, a complete collection, cl complete game. Uh, case, manual, both discs. And the description says basically that. But uh, I'll click on the, make the picture a little bigger here for you guys. But one thing um, I did notice when I bid on it, well, first thing I noticed was it was so cheap. It was like ten bucks uh, initial bid, and I'm always looking to get another collection for GameCubes, uh, Resident Evil. So I bid on it. Came back to the day, next day. I looked at it, and you could see that instruction manual has a Devil May Cry bonus uh, ad on it. And I was thinking, well, I, I knew that the PlayStation 2 version comes with the Devil May Cry demo disc, which I have, and I was like. That doesn't make sense for the GameCube because the GameCube version of this game came out several years after Devil May Cry, so it wouldn't it wouldn't be on there. So I checked both versions, and uh, bigger than shit. Um, basically, what this guy did, he took a instruction book from the PlayStation 2 version and put it in this GameCube version and called it complete, and it's selling as complete. So uh, that's what he did. Whether he did it knowingly or not, I don't know. Um, but uh, some of you may be saying, so what's the big deal? Well, if you're bidding, you know, quite a bit of money for a used game, uh, I would think you'd want something original and the real deal. Whoever bought this game isn't, you know, some little 10-year-old or some soccer mom looking to buy a new game for her son, right? It's a collector. Somebody knows what they want. That's who's buying this game. That's who paid 30 something dollars for this game. Well, when they get this game, they're going to open this manual and look. Look in there, and page three or four, there's a nice diagram of the PlayStation 2 controller with the controls. So they didn't get what was advertised, you know. And and I did email the guy, and I asked him about it, because I was the highest bidder when I noticed it, and I retracted my bid. And I emailed him, hey, man, I'm not, I'm not paying for this game. It's You got you took the instruction manual of the PlayStation 2 and put it in GameCube. And like I told you in other videos, the guy never replied. So what does what does that tell you right there? He never said, oh, shit, sorry. Maybe he didn't know. I think he does now, right? I mean, he knows now, so he still sold the fucking game to somebody, so that says a lot right there. I did report him to eBay on top of that. But uh, like I said, guys, I mean, that's just things you got to look out for. Um, it goes back to my last video. You got to know what you're, what, what you're looking for, you know. I mean, I collect Resident Evil games. I know the difference between the PlayStation 2 version and the GameCube. Most people won't. I'm sure whoever bought that game obviously didn't know that the demo disc for Devil May Cry was only offered in the PlayStation 2 version because it came out before Devil May Cry. Uh, Code Veronica was initially a uh, Dreamcast exclusive only. But then the Dreamcast went down to Tubes and Capcom, which they're famous for, ported the Resident Evil games over to the next console they could and to make a quick buck. You know it did, and it's it's awesome game. But anyway, that's uh, just an example of what I was telling you guys in my earlier videos. Um, even it's original picture, 
if you don't see something jiving, email the guy and uh, if he's an honest seller, he will uh, correct it and get back to you. If he's a guy looking to make a buck, then uh, you know you're going to get what you paid for, and that's whoever this guy is. Um, he paid uh, thirty-two bucks. Well, he got free shipping. He paid thirty-two bucks for half of the game. You know. I mean, now he's got to go out and hunt a, uh, a manual, which you do not see a manual for the GameCube version of this game ever for sale. I never have. And I and I look for game I search Resident Evil games on eBay a couple times a week. You just don't see that manual pop up. So he's gonna have a hard time tracking it down. Which seems to think why he kind of maybe snuck that PlayStation 2 version manual in there. So uh that's it guys. Um thanks for watching and uh